Hello Internet! Around here I go by Cat of Diamonds and welcome to my Fanish Reviews. It has been probably a month since I posted a video. That was an oops. I had meant to post like two before I left and then I left the country, which I made a video about on my personal channel but then never announced on this channel. So here is a book haul from another countries. From other countries. I went to three countries. And on my trip to Europe, I went to a lot of bookstores. I wanted to share with you a pile of books that I brought back from my other countries, and they're not in any order, kind of. The very first book I bought while I was in Paris, I got A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab at the Shakespeare and Company bookstore in Paris across from Notre Dame, and I can prove that to you because they have a store seal. Like, she asked me after I purchased it, uh, would you like a store stamp? And I was like, uh, yes. Yes, I would. And it's exciting because it says it is the UK edition, uh, and it's also a paperback, which is a different story. I just love this cover more than what was available in the US, so I was really excited when I put, picked it off the shelf that it was so cool and different than what I expected. This is the first book I bought, and the rest of the stack is in no order of like travel, so I'll just have to let you know when I remember. Next on the pile of unpacking is this book. Um, I guess I'll unwrap it because the person that this book is for probably won't see this video. Um, I got it at the Winding Stair in Dublin. Absolutely so cool. A little nook of a shop and my parents actually when they went to Dublin went to eat the bar upstairs or the pub upstairs and they said it was really good. So if you're going to Dublin, I absolutely recommend The Winding Stair, and I got The Book of Love, and on the back, I'm leaving the price tag when I give it to them, because then they can know that I bought it for 8 euro. Very cool. I also love that they wrapped it up in this little cute little paper. It just also then traveled to another country and back to the States, so it's not as nice of paper as it was, but I think that just adds to the character of the gift when it finds the person it's going to be given to. The next book I purchased abroad was A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan. It is also a paperback copy, and I got it at Waterstones in actually Birmingham, where I was staying with a friend and another friend works at this particular Waterstones store. I don't remember which store that is at the moment, but I bought it. It is a UK copy. There is a pound price tag on the back, and that is exciting. What else is inside? Oh, I got a tattoo wall in Birmingham, and this was the, that's the tattoo, and this was the place that I went to. I bought this book right before I got a tattoo, so yay. I also bought How to Be a Woman by Catelyn Moran while I was in Ireland. This I bought in a used bookshop right across from where my friend who I was staying with works. I had an hour to kill between her getting off work and then rushing me to the airport, so I went into the secondhand shop and I was staring at the books and there were so many fantasy books that I just didn't really want to buy and collect. And then on the selected shelf that was by games and not by the rest of the books, this was sitting on it. Another bookstore that I found that I was not expecting to go to was the Secret Book and Record Store in Dublin. This is the cute little thing and I just wanted to support it so bad so I just racked the shelves to buy something that I know that I would like and keep for a very long time which was Othello by William Shakespeare. This is a Penguin edition and so you can see in the back. £2.99 and I bought it in Dublin, so when I bought it, it was actually for Europe. Another book that I was looking for was a special edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because I was abroad and I bought this at the Harry Potter Studio Tour at Leedston Studios and ah, Warner Brothers Studio Seal Mark, it is Philosopher's. I, you could buy this paperback in pretty much any store across the ocean, but this has the seal proving that I got it. Special edition, special places, special edition Harry Potter book acquired. And now I have to put it up on the Harry Potter shelf. Right there, that's where it lives now. One of the bookstores that I knew I needed to check out while I was in London was the Persephone bookstore slash publishing company. This is their catalog of all of the books that they publish in the store. So usually if you're a local 
or if you know about them, you would have this catalog either mailed to you or you could go online and look and then when you order online or go in the store, you would know exactly what you wanted, but I went in blind and I ended up purchasing Flush, a biography by Virginia Woolf. The thing about Persephone is they actually design really beautiful insides to their books. Each end paper is designed specifically for the book they are publishing, so this is the only end paper design for this book and all other books in their like 100 book catalog have different end papers. When I first went on holiday I had a specific list of titles that I wanted to stick to and it really did not go well for me in the end, but this book was one of those and it was The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. It is the hardback edition um, with the jacket and something just fell out. Oh, that was baggage claim stuff. Um, and I purchased this at Hodges, Hodges Figs uh, bookstore in Dublin. This was the bookstore that I wanted to go to, absolutely needed to go to. The other bookstore in Britain I wanted to go to was the foils where I purchased two of the Rat Queens. They were published here, but their price tags are in pounds and the Foils bookstore is like four stories and then a cafe on the fifth and it's just so big. It is a chain, it's not an independent bookstore, but it is very unique to the UK and so I went to the like flagship store that is in London and bought Bat Queens. Like the last thing isn't really a book, but it is definitely worth sharing is when we went on the Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio tour making of Harry Potter, we purchased the uh, official guide, which I thought was really redundant at the time, but now I am so thankful because it has everything that I remember or don't remember. More really, more like that I don't remember very well, I guess, because it was so overwhelming and I absolutely have to go back. We spent seven and a half hours there. But in case I want memories before I have the chance to go back to London, which will be a very long time, hopefully not as long as I expect by some sort of... So this is such a good keepsake and it has so much making of Harry Potter information and um, yeah, I just... Ugh, makes me happy. So that is my haul. I so here we go. This is a stack of books and now I have to find them in the right... Here we go. I'll just rotate. This is the stack of books that I purchased. The books were bought in Paris and Dublin and Birmingham and London and I'm very, very happy to have these keepsakes to just remind me of my trip and to delve into because only some of them have I read. The rest are all new to me and I will have to add them to my bookshelf and find room on my 2BR. Just really find room on my shelf because it's getting kind of full. But that's always a good thing for a bookaholic. So until my next video, which will probably be filmed right after this one or very soon, and I have other videos that I filmed before I left, so who knows what my next video will be or what it will come to you or what it will look like, whether I'll have a tattoo or not. Um, I've, yeah. Until my next video, happy reading.